Hi, I'm Melissa Hartley, Curator of Historical and Modern Art at the Art Gallery of Western Australia and also the Curator of Unknown Land, Mapping and Imagining Western Australia. In this episode of Curator TV, we'll also hear from Mike Angie from EY, who'll talk a little bit about their support of the exhibition. Unknown Land, Mapping and Imagining Western Australia is an exhibition which looks at the diversity of images that were made about this place in the very, very early years of European contact with the western coast of Australia. And of course the story of contact between the Aboriginal people who were already present in this land and those European colonists and settlers who were arriving throughout the period. We're standing here on Mount Eliza today and Mount Eliza is actually a very key location for many of the artists whose works are included in the exhibition. It becomes the go-to place, if you like, for images of how the city of Perth is growing through time. One of the earliest images of Mount Eliza that we have in the exhibition dates from 1827. It was made by Frederick Garling, who was the official artist accompanying James Stirling on his exploration of the Swan River. So Unknown Land consists predominantly of works of art on paper. And by that I mean it includes watercolours, pencil drawings and also printed material. The reason for that is partly a very, very practical reason, which is that most of the artists and also the amateurs who were making these images were itinerant. They were quite often passing through Western Australia or they didn't actually have access to materials such as canvas and easels and oil paint. And so working on paper was a very easy way to make those images, but also make them very portable, so that as an artist you could actually take them with you as you travelled, or if you were living here, you could send an image back to your family back home so that they could actually see what life or the landscape looked like in the place that you were. The other thing about the works on paper is that their scale encourages a very, very detailed looking and that's incredibly rewarding because they are packed with information. So let's hear from Mike about EY's partnership with the Art Gallery of Western Australia. EY and the partners of EY in Perth believe it's really important to have a vibrant arts and cultural scene in Western Australia and the art gallery is the centre of that scene. It's important to bring people into the centre of Perth to celebrate what Western Australia is all about, about collecting art, learning about the history of Western Australia and of Australia. The gallery is very pleased to be able to partner with EY on this exhibition. I look forward to seeing you in the gallery when the exhibition opens in September 2016.